This is what you need to think about in mining and exploration part one. Verification and validation. Two words, different meanings. Why is this important? Is this going to be another rant or is it something to really think about? They're two different words. They must have two different meanings. So in this episode, I'll briefly explore what I think the difference is, what I think the definition should be and why it matters to the work that you do. Language matters. So let's go to my definition and then I'll work it back from there. Verifying. It means making sure that something exists, that it is real, true and correct, that it can be linked to its original source. And validating means that a specific data record meets the data quality objective, that it is fit for its intended purpose of a suitable quality. The quality of data points is compared to a predetermined threshold. Unvalidated therefore means not good enough for its intended purpose. And that gives us a clear distinction. Now, why, why do I think this is important? Because some of you might have seen the Red Pine instance from last year, where some data were manipulated or not. Look up the details, don't want to get in trouble. Shit went down and it wasn't cool. And I thought to myself, I run these audits. Would I have found this if I run an audit? And the answer is probably not. And why is that? Because our focus lies on the wrong things. We are kind of looking at stuff and go, oh yeah, that's what I do. That looks all right. That's not what an audit is about. And I've got more to say on this later in a separate episode. But this is about what verification means. And if you really define verification as something that is true and real, it means you're going back to the source record and you're saying this stuff exists. I've seen this. It's, this is the original laboratory sheet. This is in the database and it matches. That's verification. It exists and it's real. And validation is something different. Now, when you then start looking into it, you actually get quite confused. And this is a couple of minutes of a little bit of research that you can do online by just Googling this. And you can find some confusion in there. So if you just go to Wikipedia, like every other human being to find anything out these days without paying for it, then you can actually see that there is a, a, a definition of verification and validation there independent procedures that are used together for checking that a product service or system, in our case it's going to be a system, meets requirements and specification and that it fulfills its intended purpose. Right? This is important. These are critical components of a data quality management system such as ISO 9000. And again, I'll do another video on this and again I'll link the AIG talk where I talk about data quality management systems and ISO 9000. We don't have any of this in the mining industry, but all of this stuff has been looked at, looked at and thought about before by others before us. In this case, you'll find a definition of the PMBOK guide, which is a standard adopted by the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. We have nothing to do with these people, but they have definitions. So what are they? Well, I'll leave them on the screen for you to have a read. I'm not going to waffle through that. The point is, it's something different to what we have defined because we haven't really quite defined it, but it's interesting to point out what they're talking about, right? And they talk about contrast between validation and verification, and I think that's important. So the Merriam-Webster definition of verification and validation or any other you know, dictionary, I guess, you can find some confusion in there because verify just says to establish the truth and accuracy or reality. And I've taken the liberty in my definition to take that, that one step further, right? Is it true? Is it real? Is there reality to this? Does this stuff exist? So to me, then that translates verification into saying, hey, I've gone to side. I've looked at the core. I can see the core exists and the samples, sample numbers in that core confirm to what I see in the database. That confirms to the sample sheet and that confirms with the, the uh, CSV sheet that I got originally from the laboratory stamp. This stuff is real. I've looked at it and it's correct. That is verification. Validation, the definition says, to support or corroborate on a sound or authoritative basis or to grant official sanction by marking. I mean, that's just a bunch of words that you have to stare at for a bit. But if I run with the last bit, to grant official sanction to by marking. So if I look at data, I evaluate it and I can say whether it's good enough or not. So that's my official, you know, if I run an audit, say, okay, I looked at this, this stuff is good enough. So difference between whether it exists is or real or whether it's good enough is where I'm leading to. Back to the JORC and the NF43101. We all know that in NI43101, there is a section that says data verification. And look some of the reports up. You can see all this waffle in there. 
And I go, everything is mixed, it's a bunch of stuff, right? What does it mean and what do we need to show here, particularly as auditors to say, this stuff is actually real. If we go all the way back to the Briex days, that's what it was intended to do in the first instance. So I think they got it right, but it's diluted over time. If we go back to the definitions in the, uh, the CIM guidelines, in NI43101, we have a few instances of verification. It says, here's a definition. It means the process of confirming that data has been generated with proper procedures, has been accurately transcribed from original source and is suitable to be used. To me, that is kind of verification and validation together. Right? And therefore, in NF43101, there is no definition of validation. The two things are not separated. Now, I, I don't really care. I'm just pointing it out. But in my mind, as a non-native English speaker, I get confused by this stuff. These are words. They have meanings. Why are they different? And are they supposedly the same here? Uh, in JORIC, it's more interesting. Because if you look in the JORIC code, I've highlighted on the screen here for you where verify comes in and where validate comes in. Of course, with the inferred mineral resource statement, it says it's sufficient to imply but not verify geological grade. Verify, hmm, interesting. Also interesting, it says imply. We're changing that in the new JOR code because if the verb is inferring, why is it now suddenly implying? Aren't those different words with different meanings? I don't know. Let's not go down that rabbit hole. The next one is for clause 48. It talks about gemstones being accompanied by a statement verifying the independence of the valuation. Further down, in table one, it talks about verification of sampling and assaying, not validation. Right? So the verification of significant intersections. In other words, is that intersection real? Does it exist? That's why it's there and that's why it's verification. If you hit 100 meters at 100 grams per ton, you might want to drill another hole just to make sure that it exists and nothing else has gone wrong. Verification. This is when you go to site as an auditor, you do check sampling because you verify what has been sampled before is actually true and correct. You collect a certain number of samples so that you can say this stuff is real. Briex, right? Verification of significant intersections by either independent, so there's the independence word again, or alternative company personnel. And documentation of primary data, data entry procedures, data verification, and so on. Now, there are only three mentions of validation, but the point is they are there. And this is interesting because now we get to database integrity and we're not verifying. Suddenly, we do data validation procedures. Hold on. What is the difference? What do you mean, Jorg man, when you say validation? Is it now different? Is there a different expectation? This is why we all kind of talk about it in the same way, because it's inconsistent. In the next section, estimation and modeling techniques, this is all table one. It says the process of validation, the checking process used. But previously, it was verifying big intervals, and now it's validation. Why is it different? It's confusing. And then lastly, in security and integrity, there is a mention on cross validation of sample weights wet and dry with whole volume and density, right? Again, validation and not verification. Now, you could probably sit there thinking, Jesus, Renee, stop talking. Who cares? You know, we've got other stuff to do. I get it. But this stuff matters. Because when I hear about red pine, shareholders lose money. That's what we're here to do. I'm not just here to send you a report saying, I've gone to the lab and there's a bit of dust on that shelf. You should do better. That's not what I'm there to do. So this stuff matters. I'll go back to the final definition and I'll leave it there for you to think about. Verification, make sure it exists, that it's true, real and correct. So when you go to the site or if you do your internal audits, which is all part of your data quality management system that I'll talk about another day, one of those things is internal audits. Another thing is external audits. Part of this is data verification and validation. Determine that it's real and then determine whether it's good enough. Over and out. See you in the next episode.